Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. We've got another high level game here for y'all, featuring two new players to the channel, so let's get into it. Today we're going to be playing on Into Battle Redux, and let's introduce our players. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner, it's Rock, and his opponent. Spawning in the top right corner of the map, playing as a blue pieces, it's Shocks. So once again, haven't seen either of these guys play. I think I actually caught a couple of these games yesterday between the two of them. Um, I don't think I ended up watching this one though. So it's going to be cool to see their uh, new play styles here and maybe we can learn something together. So both players just going with their opening build order. See some small deviation here. Um, Rock is going for the uh, double mechs into factory and it looks like Shock's Went for a little bit of a walk, did triple mechs into double solar collectors because our average wind speed is below 10, and then it's going to be going into a FOT lab. So pretty cool to see. Um, definitely like these bot lab opens, especially on this kind of map here. We have such this terrain that's really only accessible with bots that have just, you know so much mass on the map and so many ways to access different portions. So definitely like to see the... Uh, Bot lab opens and then the same for rock looks like he went for the four wind turbines into bot lab and then it's going to make his first solar collector so just wants to stabilize that energy income while the wind speed isn't cooperating definitely can make uh wind turbines on a map like this with a average wind speed over 10 so just wants to get that early uh, eco in and is going to go for grunt first while his opponent is making these ticks so for those of you who don't know, these ticks are these uh, fast to scout box for armed faction and are very effective against taking out early game engineers and mexes. So along with, you know, getting scouting information, seeing what your opponent's doing. And we're sure that Shocks knows these grunts are heading across the map to, you know, to his side. So it's going to be one of catching those in a position we could see on the minimap. He caught a glimpse of that too. And Splitting up his ticks here. He's just trying to catch for engineers, trying to find a, a way to get to these turbines, and that's going to force Rock to stop building with his commander for a moment. So, definitely want to be um, utilizing this early game mastery to help. I think I'm going to turn my sound down a little bit. That's kind of a little loud. Sorry. Okay. It's like, wow, I was going after this engineer somehow, but that grunt is going to shoot those ticks away and um, just wants to get some damage done with these. Let's go to Shock's point of view here, and uh, we can see this is him moving map. He is just, you know, spamming these ticks out. He's at two engineers so far. It's not focusing on expanding yet. I think I actually saw him moving one engineer up to the north. He's going to start expanding. So let's take a look. Uh, take a take a look at this. Look like this grunt's coming in here. He's going to catch a max. Uh, he's going to force uh, a lot of these ticks to retreat back. They definitely want to be on. Uh, rock side of the map harassing takes out two mexes so great little room by here by this one grunt and is going to take out some more ticks so two mexes two ticks definitely a worthy trade and uh, rock is just sitting in his main base here he still has some mass in the bank but just has this one engineer out focusing on this grunt production here he wants to try and s secure his side of the map before he starts you know pushing out with the ex engineers expanding engineers he needs to be able to protect those against the ticks of shocks so looks like uh, we have another grunt coming in uh, unless this is no this is the same one four kills two veterancy so gonna be shoot away by the four ticks uh doesn't even take out one so that's a nice little cleanup by shocks it's gonna get this expansion up here curious to see he took this metal extractor first before expand uh before this one here usually you see players will take this uh this mex here and add a radar and then cap this mix here so have another little run by group of ticks sharking for damage here it's not gonna really going to be able to find any uh you know uh, rocks commanders in his main base he's even throwing up a light laser tower to defend this harassment and we have these pretty well placed grunts on either side of the base just protecting these mexes so sees the grunts coming in or excuse me sees these ticks coming in and chooses to uh back away Relocate his grunts into position. Notice how he's kind of mirroring the movement of these ticks here, just kind of getting in between the ticks and the base. And we have another little engagement here in uh, Shock's side of the map. He has five grunts looking for this expanding engineer. I think he's going to find them and 
Might end up having to dive with all these ticks. Curious to see this uh, tick spam. I haven't really seen this before, and we got a little bit of an engagement going on. Grunt's pulling back, but the ticks are diving forward. They have superior numbers. Can they take out other grunts? And uh, the answer is yes, yeah. Make short work of those grunts. Finally, Tag's commander, Rock's commander, rather, uh, stepping out of the main base. He's just going to be capping this mechs and adding on an LLT. Let's see if... Uh, Oh, that's cool. That commander can actually shoot while he's constructing. That's different. I haven't seen that before. It takes out a decent amount of those ticks. And um, Rock's going to pull up some grunts forward to try and reinforce that position. Take a look at the main base here. Shock's really not emphasizing that Empire, And, you know, as I say that, he queues up, you know, seven wind turbines. So, nice little reclaim field here. Definitely needs to get one of those rose bots out and uh, start scooping that back up on the map. Scooping that mass back up and getting it onto the board so it's got four engineers out no expanding year expanding engineers out for rock yet this is a little concerning um you can take a look at the uh mass income it's 13 to 11 and shocks already has oof, what is that 700 more metal produced 600 not a good spot to be in uh six minutes into the game so shocks commander is going to step out of the board Gonna move out here, cap these two mexes, hopefully, and uh, add up add some radar and LLT, I imagine. Tax commanders coming down here, capping the mechs, adding a radar, adding an LLT. I really like this spot for a radar. This is a great spot here. Same for that, it gives you a uh, pretty decent coverage. I actually like building one here after you've uh, capped either one of these mechs. You can just kind of walk to the edge of the cliff and build a radar tower right there, and give you a lot of a lot of good information about your opponent's plateau so especially if you're making run buys here on the left side of the map you can see if he's coming to kind of meet you or there's static defense built there already so definitely a great place for radar towers here 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 so you have one in the main base i don't see one so let's take a look at the player cams player view rather excuse me um doesn't have too much information about his opponent's expansions, right? He doesn't know if he's going for this yet. Doesn't know how far forward he is on this side or if he's rotating units. But definitely has decent radar coverage. I mean, can see uh, run buys coming in here through the center. And uh, he's trying to poke poke down this little hill. Runs into an LLT, backs up quickly without losing two units. That's really good. And we have this uh, engineer gang here just expanding on the left side. So... Expanding on the left, expanding on the right, expanding on the bottom, so pretty good moves. Let's take a look at Shock's camera. I like this radar coverage he has. He's got one, two radars. You can see those uh, green lines here show you the extent of his radar coverage and just a big swell of ticks here. So many ticks moving across the map. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, he's uh, going ahead and scooping up this mass with his uh, expanding, expanding construction bot. So love to see that so early in the game. Looks like Shock's going for an engagement. He's running down the hill, coming into this LLT. Man, that was like one shot, those ticks. And uh, I think he actually control K'd that LLT and took out a bunch more of those ticks than he would have. Continue to dive forward. He's going to get this engineer for sure. Uh, this LLT is going to provide some cover. But yeah, that goes down, takes out the building turret, and uh, probably going to retreat here. He got the damage he needed. Doesn't want to you know, lose all those ticks for nothing. And... Uh, Shock's commander is building a forward radar tower, forward LLT. I like to see this. You can see see your opponent's movement on his side of the map, so it's a great place for radar. And tags commander put up two LLT, so he can retreat back to that. Not too much danger of being sniped right just yet. Um, he might end up losing this Captain X though. Tries making a LLT, thinks better of it, and just kind of continues. Uh, Expanding to this location here. He's going to put up an LLT a little closer to that mix to protect it from those ticks. So we have this uh, construction gang on the left side still putting up LLTs, trying to expand. And more LLTs going up in this choke point. I like to see that just choking up uh, unit rotation from your opponent's side of the map. I would I would consider these three mixes, uh rocks mixes. So he wants to put LLTs over here to try and prevent run buys from shock side of the map. I like to see that. You have a pack of grunts here just kind of idling. I wonder if he's just waiting for uh, an engineer to get up on this plateau. Like one has already arrived. And uh, this little cheeky construction bot up here. <laughs> 
taken out by the commander. And we have another group of ticks moving in. Uh, this LLT uh, can't contest that. D gun goes off, takes off, takes out so many ticks. I think he ends up getting his uh, LLT with that even, but yeah, it's uh, ticks no match for the commander. Just gonna donate some mass. Not even. I think those ticks. Uh, oh, they leave a little bit three metal debris. Uh, I don't think they actually leave a uh, husk you can res with a res bot and. Oh, I love this. Uh, double bot lab out, just spamming these ticks. This is pretty cool to see. Um, can definitely counter this with some pounders or vehicles, but... Tag Rock is going to be outnumbered here in a second, and Shox is putting up the great wall of light laser turrets here with his commander, just completely, uh, completely separating this part of the map. So, you know, these ticks running to the left side of Rock Space, takes out an LT, takes out a Max. Turns around, doesn't want to dive. He doesn't have too much information on what's happening on this side of the map. And uh, both players just massing up units. Looks like Rock has moved into uh, bug production. These uh, light plasma. So these are definitely a little sturdier than the grunts. I think they're about four or five times the mass. Yeah, 140 mass a piece to 36. So a little more than four times the mass and so many takes being made i wonder if he's going to go for a snipe here in a second hags commander is a little isolated and this is 38 ticks so two light laser towers and one commander can it keep up with this many ticks d gun goes off takes off a huge huge amounts of ticks there and wow they, they went down really quickly so tick spam not working out so so well Commander is able to hold that off just with the light laser tower and the D gun, so along with his own own gun on his arm. So he's gonna replace those turrets. Have more ticks coming out onto the map, and I don't see shocks expanding yet. He does no expanding engineers out. You should be clapping this plateau, going for these three mexes in the corner. Um, isn't really emphasizing that. He just wants to get this production on the board here. Already has an advanced solar collector out and a third bot lab. What is this? <laughs> What is going on here? 300 ticks a piece, so. Like going for a little bit of a meme here. He just wants to beat his opponent with this uh, Tech 1 units and shocks. Edge building these turrets onto the plateau, so. So I was talking about you can get a radar up here just from the low ground, and uh, these grunts are going to be cleaned up by the fast moving ticks. Cannot run them. And so many ticks on the board. He has 52 ticks on the right side, or left side of the map here. Gonna be uh, killing these two expanding engineers. Not gonna be able to get those turrets up in time. It looks like finally Rock stepping forward. He's gonna try and take out these turrets on the high ground. Takes out one, takes out two. Got these slow moving thugs moving up the hill. I think these are a little depowered actually. Not enough energy and... The story here though is there's 52, te 52 ticks on the 60 ticks on the left side of the map. He's gonna roll through these LLTs, roll through the mexes. So much action going on right now. These thugs cleaning up the turrets in the middle. Ticks on the right side. Grunts on the bottom moving forward. You know, uh, shocks, ticks on his side of the board are trying to trying to shoot those away. Have a little bit of an engagement down there. And these ticks on the left side came through, uh, cleaned out more of these mexes, more LLTs. Reduced down to six ticks so far. I think this LLT is going to definitely clean that up. And uh, looks like the, all those LLTs in the center were taken out, so Rock can get through with his units without losing too many of them. These slow-moving thugs. wonder how they fare against these ticks, but you have a run-by here on the right side. Rock sending his guns forward. Just one LLT. He's not going to be able to take that out. More shots on the map. No. Takes out uh, takes out the radar, too, So and he's going to get up here on the high ground take out another mech, so... 67 ticks. He's looking for that commander. I think he wants to snipe here. He lost his radar, so he doesn't know where the, the commander is just yet. And look at setting up this huge arc. Yeah, he's going to run in. Five, six, six LLTs and one commander. Can he get off the D gun in time, though? Takes out. Gets off one, takes out some. And I think he's actually going to get the snipe here. That is too many ticks. Jeez. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure if he was memeing there, but that was definitely <laughs> interesting to see. Three bot labs just producing ticks with five construction turrets. You can get so many out so quickly. Let me pause this game. Um, yeah, so if y'all like this content, you want to see more videos like this, please consider liking, subscribing. I'll uh, be bringing you another Barcast TV replay cast um, either today or tomorrow. We're going to have one every day, so just come back to the channel if you like this kind of content. We'll have a new video for you every day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.